Kendra and welcome back to my channel. If you guys like the video, give it a huge thumbs up. Subscribe and press the bell to find every single time that I post a new video. Also, if you guys follow me on Instagram and TikTok, you guys would have known by now that I got a haircut. My 16th birthday was, it's the 15th now, so five days ago. That took way too long. Anyways, today's video, I will be doing a whole bunch of Netflix recommendations. So I have just over a page of shows and movies, and we're going to be starting with the shows. So let's get on with the video. So follow me on TikTok and Instagram at Kendra underscore Schwing. So definitely go check that out. I have 200 or 100 something followers on Instagram and almost 5,000 on TikTok, I believe. I don't remember because I'm growing like crazy. I just don't have time to keep track of that stuff. So yeah. Bye guys. I love you. See you in the next video. Okay, so these are all like movies and shows that I've watched in 2020. So, yeah. First off, for shows is Greenhouse Academy. I think it is three or four seasons, I believe. I can't remember. No, it's either four or five seasons. It is pretty good. There's Outer Banks. That one's really good. It's like, you guys have probably watched it by now. It's like, Lakes, I can't really remember. I watched that at the beginning of the year, so. The next one is Virgin River. That is a really good one. There's a little baby taken to a little hospital and this lady goes there or whatever. I can't remember. That was also earlier on in the year, so that was a while ago. Superstore, I just watched that. There's five seasons, and I think there's 20 episodes per season. It's really, really good, and the people I wanted to date are finally dating after, like, three or four seasons, but yeah. And then there's When Calls the Heart. That is a good one. I don't really remember it because that was, like, real. That was the beginning of the year. That was, like, this time last year. The next one is The Fosters. I watched this, like, end of December last year and beginning of oh two years ago now technically but yeah and then the beginning of january and then cobra kai that is a really good one a new season just got released on netflix so yeah it's like 30 or 40 years or something after the karate kid it's the same characters for some of it like but they're the instructors now or not instructors, I can't remember what they're called. But yeah. And the last one is Heartland. This one was really big, like, a year, two or three maybe ago. I can't really remember. That made no sense. Like, two or three years ago, this was really, really popular. It was one of my favorite movies because I was obsessed with horses until I got them. And now, yeah, I'm not obsessed anymore. <laughs> my... Now we're going to be moving on to movies. There's like an entire page. This was shows, and then that's movies. I don't watch too, too many shows. So the first one is Before I Fall, to all the boys I've loved before, like two, one, two, and three. And then there's P.S. I Still Love You, I think. I can't remember what the third one's called, but yeah. Rock My Heart, that is a really good one. It's about a horse. <laughs> the next one is The Room. It has, like, abuse in it. And this mother and son get locked in a room for a whole bunch of years. I can't rem remember how many I watched that. I watched that, like, four or five times, probably. The next one is All the Bright Places. I'm pretty sure Sir Roma has one. I don't really remember. This one was also, I watched this like forever ago now. <laughs> the next one is Irreplaceable You. I honestly can't remember what happens. It's another romance one. Midnight Sun is another romance one. If I'm not mistaken, someone gets sick in it. 
like the main character, but I can't remember. Yeah, I really don't remember. The next one is Safe Haven. I think that's like a Bible one, I believe. The next one is The Half of It. I don't remember this one whatsoever. I just remember <clears throat> there's a couple, like two or three movies that I didn't like and I didn't put them on the list. So, yes. The Shack. This one I watched like three or four times and I have no clue what happens in it. I completely forget. So, I'll have to go watch most of these all over again. But, okay. The next one is Roped. It's another, like, ranch movie slash romance kind of thing. So, yes. I can only imagine it's another, like, Bible one or stuff like that. Church. I think this there's abuse in the beginning of it. I can't remember. When this first came out, I actually watched it in theaters in Saskatoon. So that was super exciting. And then I watched it, like, three or four times on Netflix, I think. It came out three or four years ago, and I really don't remember. I've said that a lot in this video, but okay. <sighs> country Ever After. This one, I believe, is about, like, country music. Wait, never mind. I don't know. I've watched so many movies, I just don't remember the names of either. So they're kind of all just getting mixed together right now. Like, there's a whole bunch... Of that I was looking for that I watched on TV and the Netflix is different on my phone than on TV and then I also watched some and they got removed from Netflix and I watched a whole bunch of Christmas romance ones that aren't on this list this list would be like three or four pages long if I wrote down everything I've watched and I will be doing that this year probably and doing another Netflix recommendations next year but the next one is full out this is a dancing one. This is either a dancing one, a figure skating one, or a gymnastics one. I'm pretty sure it has romance in it. Or, well, probably has romance because, like, all movies have romance. But it might have, like, an injury or sickness or something. I don't really remember. I just remember the title and she was in the costume for, like, dance, gymnastics, or figure skating. So yeah, there's Kiss and Cry. Every single time I watch this, I've watched it like probably a hundred times, I cry. Every time! <laughs> so she gets like some kind of cancer or whatever, and then has to go through chemo. It's just a really good movie. And yeah, she there was figure skating in it. And then... There's A Dog's Way Home, A Dog's Purpose, and A Dog's Journey, I believe. I think they're all, like, kind of the same story, like, kind of the same theme, I guess. But not the same characters, except for the two of them have the same, like... It's one big movie, but two different movies, if you know what I mean. And the third, the third one kind of is the same, but it, like, has nothing to do with the other ones, so... And obviously, Grown Ups, that was a really good one. I watched that like a hundred times. Like, all of them are great. I don't really have a favorite. I haven't watched them in forever. So yeah, that is all for today's video. If you guys liked the video, give it a huge thumbs up. Subscribe and press the bell to find every... That was late. And press the bell to find every single time I post a new video.